This is a big one, boys. <laughs> when I was a kid, I stayed up a little too late one night watching Cartoon Network with my older brother. And what aired after that was a little television program called Toonami. Toonami aired exclusively anime TV shows. And it was on that night that I got my first taste of anime. To say that I was just into anime as a kid was a huge understatement, dude. Because the TV show that aired that night so many years ago was none other than Naruto. One of the most prolific and intensely famous animes that has ever existed. I was so into Naruto as a kid, I legitimately ate beef flavored ramen noodles like every day for almost a year. Not because I was some broke college student, but because it was Naruto's favorite meal. <laughs> Ever since then, I have always wondered what it would be like to live inside one of those magical worlds. And after I discovered VR, it became somewhat of a pursuit of mine to find a VR game that made me feel like I had been transported directly into an anime. Let's just say that after playing Ruins Magus this week, I've taken one massive step closer to accomplishing that goal. Anyways, enough of me talking, we can get into the video. Enjoy. Ruins Magus is a much needed addition to the JRPG genre. The story of this game takes place in a city called Grand Amnes, where you and your companion will explore deep into ruins located beneath the city in order to collect artifacts, capture bandits, fight monsters, and most importantly discover mystical secrets. The story is honestly my favorite aspect of this game. That's not to say that the combat, music, art style, and game mechanics aren't amazing, because for the most part they definitely are, but the story just does such a great job of pulling you in, keeping you in Engaged, and especially making you feel like you've just been seamlessly transported into a mystical anime world. To top it off, you are a f***ing wizard. <laughs> I mean, it really doesn't get much better than that. Goddamn right. Oh, titties. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We got your ass, alright? You're gonna be a fan favorite at the old prison, bud. I hope your favorite flavor is dick. My favorite flavor of popsicle is dick. You got this week's latest porno mag, huh? The pretty good one? Yeah, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's fisting! Oh my gosh. Omairomo, shinde you. Do you ever just feel like being anime as <laughs> So we have to go help someone at a fucking shop? With all due respect, what the f are you talking about? What is this bullshit, huh? Right? We want to adventure. Can we go f like, uh, spiders or golems or something? Like, what did you just say? Even though I think that so many different aspects of Ruins Magus are amazing, there is definitely an elephant in the room. The only drawback about this game, which I'm sure you're already concerned about if you've been looking into buying it, is the repetitive combat scenarios and a pretty big lack in variety when it comes to the visuals and layout of the ruins that you will be tasked with exploring. If I'm being honest, despite the fact that the ruins and enemies are a little repetitive, I still had fun the entire time that I played this game. I was so engaged by the story, combat, soundtrack, boss fights, and awesome vibe of the game that I didn't really notice or care about how enemies and environments could be a bit repetitive. Please, please, can you guys help me? I don't know how the f*** that I got here. I took the fattest bond rip you've probably ever seen in your entire goddamn life and woke up inside this anime world. <laughs> it got me killing monsters and shit. I don't want to kill monsters. I'm a nice guy. She's got me over here fisting golems 24-7. What you just said is one of the most idiotic things I have ever heard. I like that you got a little stool because you're so fucking short. <laughs> this Medi Guardian thing, kind of a big deal around here. I think what I'm gonna do is walk into this guy's fucking living room, take a big old fat sh in his bowl of Cheerios, all right? <laughs> Fuck, those are good. Ugh. I didn't know they had furries in this fucking game. Wow. What crawled up your ass today, huh? That is not a happy furry. Holy f***, so much in his kibble today, ma'am. 
After about four hours of playing this game, I was only able to get through eight or so missions out of the 25 that are available in Ruins Magus. So you could definitely get 10 plus hours of playtime out of this game easy. But does a good story, art style, soundtrack, and fun combat justify the $35 price tag? Oh, hey! Unless you are a true weeb like me, I don't think that it does. I think that Ruins Magus is worth it if you are buying the game because you want to experience the story, characters, and anime vibe of the game. But if you are only looking into Ruins Magus because of the combat, I don't think that this game is for you. The combat is fun, don't get me wrong, but if you've played games like Half-Life Alex and you don't enjoy anime, then the combat and minimalistic art style of this game is definitely not worth $35. What's wrong, Iris? It's just a pussy boy. Nothing to be worried about. I'll handle it. Wait a minute! Who are you? <laughs> I'm a bit of a big deal around here. They call me Big Daddy. Let me just go ahead and take a little pic of you. That's a nice fucking gauntlet. Can I have that, please? I'm gonna steal it anyway. This is fucking sweet. It's like it's got a heartbeat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you sound pretty angry, man. I mean, we just found a cool looking door. All in all, I'd have to give Ruins Magus a 7 or 8 out of 10. It is truly an amazing addition to Steam's library of VR RPGs. Could it be improved? Definitely. Is the $35 price tag a bit steep? 100%. Is it lacking in the realm of exploration? Yes. But for what this game has set out to do, creating a magical anime world where people can get immersed in a fun story and participate in some B-tier combat while living out their dreams of being an anime wizard, it does that extremely well. After all, this game was made to be played on the Quest 2, so I don't really blame them for the minimalistic art style and repetitiveness when it comes to the ruins and enemies. It all still looks way better than I thought it was going to. However, Ruins Magus hasn't quite satisfied my urge to find a VR game that truly makes me feel like I'm in an anime. Well, this is basically the end of the video, y'all. There are going to be some bloopers playing after this uh, if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I hope you enjoyed this little anime adventure we went on. I hope that you're having a nice day. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you guys next week where I will be fighting for my life in a kayak. Anywho, bye! If I'm not Goku by the end of this game, I'm f***ing refunding it. Look what you guys did. Huh? What and got yourselves absolutely f***ing wrecked. <laughs> Upgrade my equipment? Tickle my balls a little bit, and then we'll talk about me doing you another favor. Hope you brought your Costco card, because when we get back to the prison, you're gonna be getting dick in bulk. <laughs>